Hello and welcome to the Dutch Man in San Marcos. I am the DISM and we're coming to you today to turn junk into guitars. So let's get going. <laughs> Here we go, and welcome to my cigar box friends and enthusiasts. I got a little different show today. We were working on the the beer can hockey stick base, and I'll show you a little bit of that in the end of this video. But like I was saying last week, I'm I'm putting together some kits to help show some kids at the Summer Splash how to build bento box ukes. I don't know if I covered it in my video when I made the Binto Box Uke. Uh, I might not have gave you full details. So today I thought as long as I actually got to make five necks because I got five kids and five kits that I'm putting together. And so I want to pre-build the, the necks because I got to sand them for them. They're just with, they come out square and you'll see that. And so, uh, so yeah, so walk along with me. Uh, and uh, I'll, I won't do a lot of talking. I'll just do a lot of working on them. I'll, uh, I'll mention things here and there. But uh, I'm going to show you a, quite a bit of the, the video of that. I did get some parts for, for the, uh, the, the beer can hockey stick base, the BHB. I had a hard time trying to put the letters to that on the last video. But it is the, it is the BHB, the beer can hockey stick base. And so uh, we'll get to that near the near the end of the video, and uh, so let's let's get working on that. Uh, here we go. All right, I turned the camera so I could show you these, and as you can see, I uh, I'm loading up the the each each uh, person's box with their stuff, and so as you can see, these need to all be glued together. And I just thought it would be kind of hard. And then actually when they come together, I want to pre-sand them on my belt sander. So, so it makes for, a, makes for a smoother surface when you're playing it. So yeah, so we'll take you along on doing those. I already got, I already got two of them made. You can see this one, this is the way they'll get them. This is all put together already. And you can see, and then... Uh, there's a, this block goes on the inside, but it's actually three pieces, so I glued that together for them so they don't have to clamp. And just another left thing left, left to connect clamp. So I'll take you through this one, and uh, let me move the camera again. All right, so those are the kits. Um, you, you probably didn't see it, and it, it, it wouldn't be time passed because um, in between, right after I shut it off, and I was twisting, I dropped my phone right on the concrete floor, but it didn't crack, so yay. But, uh, so we're back, so I'm, I was a little frazzled about that. That's the only reason I told you, but it'll be edited so you won't, you won't see it. So that's why I keep clicking it on and off so I don't get parts in there I don't want. And it actually worked out to be okay. So here's the jig I made right here. And uh, I lined it with this because of the glue. I already did two of them in here. So we're going to start on another one, and I'll uh, get working on that. Because I've got, I've got uh, three more to do. Yeah, I did two. I got three more to do. So, but I'll I'll just show you this one. So these are the blocks the way they look before they before I glue them together. And I got those clamps for that. Oh, oh yeah, here's another thing I bought. You can see my base stuff here. I got some wood for the fretboard for the for the uh, for this guy. See this guy right here. I'll show it to you quick. For this guy. So that that's one of the things I got together. I was trying to figure out the frets. So that's why I've got this up here, but I'm going to set this over here. So anyways, 
So now we got the neck, and the neck is actually is uh, four pieces. And the, the thing is, I've got to make sure I line all these up, because that's where the screws come through. And then these are already pre-cut for the, the tuning machines, and this is the clamp that goes on the box when it's done. So we start out with the bottom one. I, I got. I'm, if you hear me talking about it, because I, I've got to go through it in my head so I don't get it wrong. I did on the second. I did two, two already, and on the second one, after already doing the first one, when I was gluing this piece, when I was going to glue these pieces on top, I sprayed. I poured glue on here. I'm like, oh no, I wiped it off quick so it, it didn't show. But so I got to get it in the right order. I kind of go by the back. I don't want the laser marks, so. This one off. This one goes down first. So I get that guy in here. In the jig, and I make sure I have it tight to there because I made that mistake on my first one. If you watch my video, and then we just go with type on. Whoops! Almost through that. Type on two. Spread it down. And this one I go all the way up because the next one is going to glue on top of this. So I get a bunch on there, and I got a I got a brush and water here, and just spread it spread out the glue. Get it nice and even. I'm only doing one side of these because I don't want a lot of squeeze out. And type on when you put it under pressure works really good, so so I don't get a lot of squeeze out. So I kind of developed my method here. You'll see some squeeze out when I take it out, but I, you know, type on only needs to, it sets up in about 30 minutes and with pressure even quicker. So, uh, and then I do put the, I'll show you that, I do put the screws in. So, here we go. Keep my brush from drying out. So this is the next piece, and this is actually the bento box. This is, this will be the finished piece. Put that guy, put that guy in, and get it. Make sure it's tight up to here, and more, more type on. But don't type on there. I did that the last time. I'm like, no. I had to. Luckily, I had a rag and I wiped it off. So, if you're one of the guys that are making this in Summer Splash, because I'm going to tell you where to go. Uh, you'll see how part of your bento box was made, only for, only for time restraints. But it definitely was all handmade. You can see I, I'm doing it because the I don't want the kids working with the, uh, working with the sander, because it's like a a power tool, which wouldn't be good. But the they're fifth graders. And not saying that a fifth grader can't do it, it's just I don't have the t time or the people to to help five of them do it all because they'll probably all be doing it at the same time, and then uh, that's how that's how things happen. So that one goes on, and then there's this middle piece. Same thing, got to make sure the holes are all lined up, and uh, you put that guy down. Then more glue. I was reading on the label of this tight bond. It actually, it actually is waterproof. Wipe off our excess there. And now we put the actual fretboard on. You can see it has the same holes that we were lining up. Then we clamp her down, and I got these adjusted so, so they go nice and tight. Those go in. I turn this around because there's no clamp on the headstock, so I move that here so I can put so I can put this clamp on the. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So I put this clamp on the headstock.
There. So we got it nice and tight. Okay, now in the kit, in the kit are all the, the bridge, the tuners, and I need, I get these screws out, out of there, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this together so it's all drying at the same time so I can move on to the next one. So we take this, see there's the, there's the burn mark, so that's, so I put that one down, and, uh, Put the glue on here so we get the I I cleaned up my type on too quick get that on there same thing only one side um, type on is good stuff and then we get this guy and that's because it's square, I can just square it on my board here. So I kind of get it square like that until I get all the pieces on. So I'll do another row of this. Now this is the, the last one. I keep the laser marks down. This hole here is for the, uh, in the box there's another screw hole for that, that bracket from the bridge from the bridge to the box goes. So that's why that's both that's pre-drilled. I've got to spread it around. Spread that glue and get it, get it nice and around here. Put the brush in there. Get that baby nice and square. And clamp it. Check for squareness. So now our block is These uh, sides are kind of like an optical illusion because it's the brown from the laser, but then you see some lighter parts and you think, oh, is that, see like here, it looks like it's not square, but it really is. So that guy can sit over there and dry. And, it, and then this gives me the time. We go into our parts bag and they have all the parts for this. As you can see, they have the tuners, the little bridge. We set those aside. This was that this was that one piece for the neck that goes up to that, you know, to that to that hole. So we don't need that. They have these are all the tuners. They have a little for they have a little separate bag for screws. So we separate those out. And then everything goes back in here for the kit. Meanwhile, this is setting up, so because I this takes a little time. So we get we need seven of these little screws. So we'll get them out of here. The two screws for the neck. These are for that bridge piece. Here's a little ferrule for the box. And so we got to get, there's a couple different sizes. There's real small ones for the tuners. And then there's these. And these just drop in right here. So we get seven of these. They actually give you eight. So I've, I've been keeping the extra ones over here. In case I think if one is defective, you know, it's just quality control. So we get all these in here. And I'll cut, I'll cut this. I'll cut this so we don't go too long because it'll take me a little time to, and then we just screw them all in. That one spit a little glue out. Interesting. So, 
I won't bore you with tightening all those down. We'll come back when I'm going to pull this out. So we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got all those screws in. Got all the little parts put back in the bag and put them in their kit. So we'll pop this baby out. Um, now it's really secure because even if it's not dry, we got screws in it too. So that should help. But Titan's pretty good at setting up. So we'll take all the clamps off there. And uh, I get a little, it, this is a tight fitting jig. So I get a little screwdriver underneath there to get it going. And there we have it. There we have it. I got a little bit of squeeze out, but that's the neck. Wipe off some of the squeeze out of. So that's the neck, and they can they can put their name on here if they like. Um, I'll, I'm debating if I put the tuners on um, ahead of time, but. When I after I sand it, I want, might want to have them decorate up here if they want, and then uh, um, I'm gonna have to spray the boxes with clear lacquer to seal whatever they decorated. So I might wait on that and uh, you know put them put them on there after I spray it. But yeah, so that came out came out good. So there's a there's another there's another neck. So. This might be your neck if you're watching this from, from the Summer Splash class. And then we'll get this guy undone. And there's the block. There's the block that, that goes in the box and the neck will screw into this. And this is lined up with the big screw that that goes all the way through for the that support. So there you go. So I'll show you. I've got. I don't. I don't want to move to the sanding step until I get them all done. So I got. I've got another one here to do. I got two more to do, and then um, I'll shoot a video of sanding the first one, and uh, maybe throw that in next week so it doesn't get too long. So there you go. Well, I'll move on to the BHB. So here's an update. Here's an update on the BHB. I, I gotta remember I got a short ceiling there. But this is the BHB. So what I did was I found, I found a really nice piece. And what did I do with it? Oh, I had it here. I showed you earlier. Where did I set it? But anyways. Uh, hang on, hang on, let me find it. I had it right behind me. So anyways, I found this really nice piece of, uh, um, I found where the wood was at at Home Depot that I used to buy. They moved the section, and now I found it, so now there's a lot of this stuff available. So I, I thought I was going to have to cut down my own. This piece I found it has one little nick in there, but when I put it up to my scale it I, I, the fretboard will probably chop off here so what i'm thinking is putting putting the fretboard on this would be cut off on top and uh there's not that as you can see there's not that much sticking off so what i might do what I'll probably do is take, get another, another piece of like this. I fixed my fretting saw. That's why this one isn't fretted for a little mini one. I was just trying it out to get it to cut better. But I actually take another piece like this and double it up because that'll get my height better here for the strings. So it'll be doubled up so my fretboard will be and I might, I might even want it a little higher up because, because this curves, and the the uh, the bridge or whatever I come up with, 
will be like right in here. And then I have to come up with a thing to hold the strings. And still haven't found what I was looking for uh, for that. But some, I might have to glue a piece so it'll go across here. The thing I was going to do, I've got to, I'm going to try to cut, I'm going to try to cut this and peel it around so I can glue it back on. But what will happen is, is I got to glue, I've got to glue something, something to the side, like, something to the side like this. Not that big, but it'd be something to the side. So maybe I could, I was thinking about, uh, I was first I was thinking about cutting a puck in half, but I don't know what's on the inside of a, a regular puck. So what I might do is just trace it, trace it into a piece of wood like this, which is popular, this is hard. And then uh, put it up here so it looks like a half a puck for the tuning machines. Um, and maybe not wrap the tape around if I make like a look look like a puck. Maybe I'll just trim this away so I can glue so I can glue that flush and then have it have it look like a half a hockey puck uh, and paint it black so I know that this is wood and then and then put my tuning machines you know then put my tuning machines you know like a like a whole let me get my tuning machines like a hole here. Oh, there goes my ferrule. Like a hole here, a hole here, and then just just line them up, or or even or even do it this way. So I so I have. I I seen other ones. If I did it here, I wouldn't have enough real estate. But if I do it this way. You know, then the far one I can move it in a little bit for the for the tuning pegs, and really because I'm only doing two strings down, it doesn't uh, they can they can be or maybe maybe I'll have enough room to put the other one on this side. Yeah, maybe that'll be the trick. So one on this side, one on that side, one on that side. So those are the things I got to work out. For that you know for that second string going down so it's not but yeah so that's what I've been kind of thinking for the headstock that keep it kind of in that hockey theme and uh, because a, a hockey puck is about that thick maybe a little thicker but I didn't want to cut the hockey puck open and the only one hockey puck I got around here is the one that Lori caught at a Red Wings game and I'm sure she wouldn't want to give it up so but we can make a faux looking one by painting it black I even have some of that uh, some of that, like even putting, um, you coat your tools. It's like a rubber, a rubber handle. Maybe spraying it with that to make it look like a half a puck. Like when you feel it, you think it was actually a hockey puck. So, so instead of sacrificing a hockey puck. But anyway, so that's that's where this is going to come along. And so keep coming along. I'll do an update on the next video of sanding those little necks. And by that time, I'll probably already be in the class you know, working with it. I'll, I might take a shot of some of the kids decorating the tops. Um, but yeah, so that'll be the show for this week. I hope you enjoy. I see I got more subscribers. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Uh, hopefully I can get some uh, more likes and more subscribers. I'm up to 48 now, so once I get that 50 mark, then then it's only 50 more. And they say, they say the more you get, the the quicker it goes but uh so yeah so we want to keep building my posts so i can keep doing videos and and getting all these boxes done and coming up with new ideas and doing different things make comments send me your ideas uh you know tell me what i should do on here and and, and i'll probably use it because i'm always trying to think of ideas and um i was talking to i was talking to actually remember i had on a previous show i fixed a base his son plays bass, and uh, he was throwing in some comments about my, my beer can hockey stick bass. And, uh, yeah, it made me think more about how to do it. I did look up online CB Giddy that made this bento box kit 
has um, a two-string um, cigar box base and I was looking at pictures of that how they showed you know the big holes you know cut into the neck for the bass strings and uh, so that gave me some ideas about doing this headstock too so and the only reason I would add this to it is because it's not quite wide enough for two big holes so the hole will probably actually fall the hole would probably actually fall you know between these um, so and I didn't I haven't thought about making putting the tuners on either side so so that'll be more layout stuff once I do that so still in the process um, and if I make this rounded I might not even touch this just leave that on there and uh, make it look like there's just a, a half a puck sitting there. So. All right, so we'll see you next week. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends, even if they don't build things, it's just interesting learning about uh, the poor man's guitar, actually was what the cigar box guitar originally was. And uh, it was people that wanted to play music. And it's even more fun to play music when you're playing something that you made uh, and uh, that's what that's what the, there's a lot of joy in not just performing or playing something, but playing something that you actually built that wasn't wasn't that wasn't musical. This thing ain't musical like this. So great, have a good week, and the DISM will see you later. Oh, didn't I record that?